five last year. I Pat, how much time did you spend on your hair this morning? Uh, little to none. Shook it out the shower. I ran my fingers through it. I find it hard to believe. Why does it, it actually look good this morning? It looks, sure? Yeah, yeah. No, it looks. It looks like. I mean, listen, it's not a great hair day, but it's not a terrible hair day. <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're never great hair days. Yeah, you know, I did one of these and. It's good. I would say five to ten seconds. Nice. Like the the not including drying. <laughs> The investment to outcome ratio is actually pretty sweet there. Yeah, I like to think so, right? It's a good move. Yeah. So, um, it's day three, it's the morning of day three on Wadapalooza. It's raining outside. God knows what events you guys are actually going to do, but you've like eaten your way into a pretty decent lead going into this final day. How's it feel? Uh, good, especially when things like that are going on. Like, I don't have to worry as much about it. Um, I was kind of excited for a couple of events that they had announced for today, so hopefully it pans out and we can do that. But uh, if not, I'm more than comfortable with whatever they can come up with. So, yeah, I think that. I'm feeling good today, and I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I don't think it's going to change the outcome any. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully, I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a little rain would be great. Get some good photos in the rain. Who knows? But, yeah, you look like an Ed Sheeran music video. Yeah, exactly. Right. It could be could make some for some good imagery, but we'll uh, we'll see what they decide. Because at the end of the day. We we're supposed to move some heavy weights today and do some pretty high skill gymnastics. And if it's if it's raining and wet and, and all bogged down, then it's a safety issue, and that's kind of what's important. Yeah. So we'll see. Everybody wants to make it out of the weekend. <laughs> well, the season's going to be a little bit longer now for you guys than it has been in a while, especially considering you're in a pretty good position to you know earn that invite to the games. How does that change you know what you're going to be doing over the next six months going into the games? Yeah, so I think it gives the opportunity to kind of deload a little bit and uh, and cycle your training. Um, so I'm gonna probably end up switching to more of a weightlifting cycle or or a little bit more strength cycle for a little bit. Um, we'll see because for the next month you still have to kind of skate stay semi geared up for the open but for an athlete like myself it's not the biggest challenge really you have to be prepared to to go hard once a week right or like maybe twice in the week because you're going to redo it but you can do that like you can maintain i can maintain the courage and the capacity to, to go hard at it for once in a week and then focus my energy on my strength and skills outside of that um, it shouldn't be bad it's also, it's also if it, if things work out this weekend, it takes some stress off the open. You still want to have a good seating, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of a, a nice luxury. And it will give me personally some time to spend a few less hours in the gym and a little bit more time at school because I have I have to make sure that I graduate in May. I'm set to graduate in May, but I need to make sure that I do. Uh, and I'd way rather have my last month, say, be more on cruise control than have it be super stressful because I had to travel and compete and and take a bunch more days off work. So um, that's kind of going to be a priority is just to get all my ducks in a row and, and make sure that that's ready to be done. And as soon as I finish school, that's when the rogue invitational is basically like two days after I finish. So uh, I'll be able to go kind of test the lines out there and see where you're at with three months before the games or so. So that's going to be a good reality check, I'm sure, for everybody who goes. And then we'll take it from there and, and plan for the games from there. Other than the Rogue Invitational, are there any other sanctioned events that you got your eye on? Not right now, mostly because I can't afford to travel with school. Um, I'll probably just do the Open and then do Rogue once I'm done. If it, I end up working enough ahead on my requirements, I might try to go to one and do something fun like a team thing just to do, you know, an appearance for some sponsors and go get out in the community again and, and, and compete a little bit, but not have to have the stress and the baggage that comes with individual competition, um, especially if my training does gear down a little bit in that period. So we'll see. There, there's a chance. I wouldn't go far, I don't think, though. Like, I wouldn't be going overseas. I'm not going to Australia or China or Europe. Like, it would be something North American likely and mostly just for fun. Awesome. Well, good luck to Day, man. Thank I hope, you very much. Hope it goes well and that the rain doesn't yeah, you know, me too. blow people's I hands hope, out. Yeah. Or <laughs> Hopefully nobody goes down. That's what you hope at the end of the day, yeah. that everybody can exit the competition safely and live to fight another day. Yeah. Very cool, man. Thank you. Cheers.